Well, I think you can see that the growth is everywhere. This green stock is essentially covered right now. Guten yardening, everybody. Well, as you can see, we are down in our indoor grow area. The weather outside tonight is a blustery 17 degrees Fahrenheit. It is very cold out there, but it's nice and warm in our indoor growing area. And I want to give you a little tour in this video of some of what we have growing in here right now. Now we are just getting started in this process. There's a ton more to plant and we have some more changes that are coming to this indoor grow area as well. But some of what we're growing has already started to develop in the short time that it's been down here. And so I want to provide you some updates and show you what's going on. Now, for those of you who are new to our channel or new to our indoor growing space, I want to give you a little bit of a tour really quickly of what we have in here. This is a four by four O-Grow greenhouse, and we'll have a link to one of these in the description. This is one of the spaces that we've been using in our grow area for the last couple of years. And here we have our four by eight Vivasun grow tent. And we've been growing in this tent for the past four years, and it's got lots of great space in there, both vertically and just all around. You know, we've got lots of different lights in here. We're gonna be doing a video where I show you the different lights that we have, including one that we're just getting in the near future. So stay tuned for that. But you can see there's lots of space in this indoor growing area that I'll be describing here in a second. Now our indoor grow area isn't just those two tents. We also have the outside area where we have some really nice lights out here too. So we're able to use a lot of this space as well. You know, it's always impressive to me how quickly these fruit trees take off. This is our kumquat tree. And if you watched our unboxing video where I introduced you to some of these new fruits that were growing, you saw this one. This is the Nagami kumquat. And you can see it first because it's getting used to being transplanted into this new pot. There is some shedding of leaves and that's what's happened here. But very quickly, even though these leaves right up top here have shed, we're starting to get some of that new growth. And you can see it right down in here, this brand new growth coming in here already. This was non-existent a few short weeks ago when we planted this or when we up-potted this. Now, we still do have this one kumquat here that was on the plant at the beginning. Who knows if that'll actually stick around. At this point, I doubt it, but it might. This is our kumquat though, already growing. And our brown turkey fig looks like an entirely new plant. Now, if you remember from that, and I'll show you a clip right now of what it looked like when it first started. It actually did have two leaves on it, I think, two or three leaves on it, not much of anything. And now we have brand new growth here and it's actually spreading upwards as well. I really like to see this right here. Look at the end of this stem. You can see the green leaf coming out here right at the apical end. We're gonna get a whole bunch of growth coming up on this plant. Remember, these figs can grow multiple, multiple feet in one growing season. This is our second variety of fig in addition to the Chicago hardy fig that we grew last year that provided us with a whole bunch of figs in the first year. So who knows what's gonna happen with this brown turkey fig, but it is growing really quickly. Now our gold nugget mandarin hasn't really shown the same growth as everything else. Although if you look right here at the very top and I'll try to kind of get in close here, you can see where we're starting to see a little bit of something new forming up here. So not as much growth there, but our American Beauty Dragon Fruit on the other hand, this one I'm super excited for. Take a look at this growth. I'm just gonna turn it around here at the top. Do you see that right there? That offshoot right at the top? That is brand new growth that has sprouted out of this dragon fruit. And so we're definitely seeing some development happening. This is such an interesting looking plant and we're gonna research it more and we'll do some video content on this for sure to talk about what we're doing with growing this one. But there's some really cool growth coming out of this plant already. Now this lemon plant has been taking off since we brought it indoors. When we brought it in, we had quite a few small fruits on this and I'll show you this right now. Um, these fruits are starting to turn colors. Now, that's, that means, well, this black one's a good example of that. I'll take it off right now. That means that this plant is aborting some of these fruits. They're just not going to make it the whole way. They will fall off. There are a few on here that are still green. So there's the possibility that they'll continue to grow. But what we see instead is a massive number of flowers on here. Now the flowers only last 
for a couple of days and then they start, well, I'll show you, they start to fall off just like this. So we need to come in here and pollinate. If we don't pollinate, we're not going to see much development at all. So I've got to get in here and hand pollinate this, which is something I've done in the past as well. Now you can see, here are the flowers. You can see where the fruit begins to form right here. It's a great example, right inside the flower. So as these petals are falling off, we get the formation of some of these fruits. Now, again, this is the time where it's important to see if we can get this to be completely pollinated since we're indoors, we don't have any of those natural pollinators. So you wanna get this fully pollinated or else we'll have the exact same results, which will be these fruits are not going to come to full maturity. With that being said, I'm gonna to try to step back here and show you just the expansiveness of all of these flowers on this lemon. And this has been something that's developed in the last week and a half or so, maybe two weeks. They really develop quickly once they get started. Now we brought in a whole bunch of pepper plants that we were overwintering. I have about 10 or so in here right now. And what I'm starting to see on these plants, and this is a really good example of it. They're not on every one of them yet, but there's some of them. We're starting to see some of the sprouting happening here at the top. Pardon the pink color. That's the color of the light up above. So what I want to do now, because I do want this to develop and we want to grow peppers over the winter, I'm going to give this a nice feeding of fish emulsion. That'll be our nitrogen to help it continue to grow and sprout out this foliage. And then I'm also going to give it just an all around all purpose fertilizer here. We'll come down to these on the bottom and you can see the same thing happening down here where we're getting the beginnings of new buds forming off of here. So yes, we're going to go ahead and get that started in here so we can see these peppers start to bloom. Now here are just a few seedlings that we have going right now and they are looking really strong just under some really simple, these are $4 lights that we got a whole bunch of these a while back. This is what we keep our seedlings under. Now these you can tell for sure are tomatoes, although I'm not going to tell you the variety yet. And here we have two more seedlings started. Now this one is, I think, too small for you to probably tell what it is. And you'll notice that I have the tags turned away from you, but I'm gonna give you an opportunity to guess. Now, the mature leaves aren't really there yet, but this is a really cool plant. You can see the stem itself is a little bit purple. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. See if you can leave a comment and guess what that might be. Now we have a raised bed that I built last season in our grow tent area and we did that so we could try a little bit of vertical gardening. This season we're going to try to attach some lights underneath so we can take advantage of the space underneath the raised bed as well. But in here we actually have a few things growing that we didn't plant and I'll explain how they got there in just a second. We'll take a look at this little creature right here. This is one of the ladybugs that we released in here as a part of our pest measures. You know, we did our best this season to not bring any aphids indoors, but there's always the possibility. And so those ladybugs are going to help us out for sure. And right beside that in our raised bed, you see a whole bunch of potatoes. Now we didn't plant any of these potatoes, but when I was harvesting last season, I left a few of the smaller potatoes in here. And you can see now that we're back in here with the lights on they've sprouted and not only have they sprouted but they are really taking off i would say this one's probably about i don't know 18 inches or so tall it's a pretty nice sized potato already these plants are going to grow really quickly in here all of this growth has developed over the last couple of weeks we also have a tomato that we brought indoors after keeping it in quarantine for a short period of time we cut it back the whole way and you can see that's starting to develop again so this one's a little bit more mature and then one of our other tomatoes that we're going to transplant now down in here you're going to see a couple of plants and i don't actually know what these are and the reason i don't know what these are is because they are a result of me putting worm castings in here and there were a couple of the worm castings i think that weren't fully just the castings there were probably a couple of seeds in here so i'm guessing that it's likely some kind of squash but we'll see what it is we will be transplanting these out of here though to a different spot so as to not take up this bed space with something that we don't intentionally want now if you joined us about a month ago we did a video where we talked about planting 
some of our sweet potato slips that we harvested from sweet potato plants this summer. And so we brought them in and we planted them in this green stalk. This is the original green stalk, the five tier with the 10 inch tiers. And well, they are taking off like crazy. Well, I think you can see that the growth is everywhere. This green stalk is essentially covered right now. And because I've got that mover base, I can just spin this around so you can see. It is covered with these sweet potatoes. Now I have to be a little bit careful as I'm spinning this. I can't spin it the whole way around. And the reason right now is because I have this string from last season that was meant to hold up some of our bean plants. And what we've got here, I'll just come down and show you. We've got a sweet potato that has caught hold and now grown the whole way up, the whole way up this string. You can see just how quickly these sweet potato plants are taking off. Lots of new green growth on here, but you can also see that we have to take care of feeding these. Now, we fed them when we planted them, but I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna give this a nice more blooms watering. So that's a 0-10-10 fertilizer. I'm not trying to give it any nitrogen because these will develop very well but we want those roots to expand out. We want to grow some really big sweet potatoes. So I'm not as heavily focused on the vines growing as I am on the roots. So we're going to give it that nice 0 10, 10 fertilizer. And I think this is going to be amazing. But you got to stay tuned for this one because this is an exciting green stalk experiment. Now, as I mentioned, we are just getting started in here. We have a ton left to plant. You know, with a wonderful summer and fall growing season, the weather was just perfect for us. We absolutely loved it. You know, we're just getting going in here and this is where you can help us out. We're going to put a poll on our community page where we ask you or give you a couple of options as to what you think we should plant. And we're gonna let you pick one of the things that we plant in our indoor growing space. So you need to keep an eye out for that poll and give us your opinions as to what we should plant. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We get some community input here as to what we're growing indoors. Well, we hope you enjoyed this tour and enjoy getting caught up on what's going on in our indoor garden where the potential here is massive and we can't wait for the next couple of months. Well, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.